Our intelligence on North Korea reported that the Chinese Communist Party has recently supplied North Korea with a large amount of grain, pork, and the kind of meat prepared for the so-called long-term war. They were transported to North Korea by train after train and truck after truck. These meat and grain are China's war reserve meat and grain. A large amount of these were given to North Korea. Of course, North Korea has to listen to the CCP to fire a few shots and launch a few missiles. Everyone must remember that when the CCP is at its most dangerous moment and wants to provoke regional disputes in Asia primarily, it relies on North Korea. To instigate international conflict, it mainly relies on Iran and Russia. As for the recent regional disputes provoked by the CCP, this mad dog has totally gone insane. In South America and countries in the Southern Hemisphere, including Africa, all the infiltration is for their votes. They do not have weapons or hotspots. Their main function is at the United Nations voting process, where the CCP can manipulate the so-called voting results. The main battlefield is in the United Nations. Everyone has seen that whenever there is a vote at the United Nations, the CCP's cronies and allies all come out. In recent regional disputes throughout Asia, the focus has been mainly on North Korea, South Korea, and Japan to draw the attention of the U.S., ease the pressure on the Russian-Ukrainian war, and reduce the attention of the U.S. and the West to various aspects of the CCP's military and surveillance efforts. That's the key, right? What can we learn from these? It means that the Communist Party, through these so-called strategic moves in Asia, completely relies on Russia's winning the war against Ukraine and then works together with Russia to attack Taiwan. This strategy seems to be impressive. But anyone with a grasp of international knowledge would find the strategy extremely foolish, ignorant, and dangerous. Why? It picked the worst timing the global economic crisis. And the most affected by this crisis could be economically developed countries, like Europe and the US. At this time, when the CCP wants to instigate this kind of regional and international instability, and wants to exploit it for benefits, it will end up with a strong collective attack from the US and Europe. They will shift their domestic economic and political issues to China, 